Hey guys, my plastic surgeon thought it would be a great idea for me to make a video and show you some of the products that have made a huge difference in making my recovery process a little less painful. Here you go. Swelling and bruising can be extreme, so icing your eyes and face around your nose is the most important thing you can do for a good outcome. I bought all kinds of fancy ice packs, but you know what ended up being the ultimate solution? Frozen peas, y'all. Put them in Ziploc bags so you can make the compress the exact size and shape you need for comfort and effectiveness. Also, they cost about a buck. Winning. You need to sleep on your back and keep your head up at a 30 to 45 degree angle for a few weeks. So this memory foam wedge is a fantastic purchase. I saw people complain of lower back pain from propping up on just pillows, but this wedge kept me well supported. And since very few of us are doing a lot of flying these days, Break out that travel pillow from the bottom of your closet and keep your neck supported while preventing your new nose from getting smooshed, you know, while you sleep. Protein is super important for successful healing, but you won't feel much like eating right away, so have some of these around. And you gotta have some straws so you don't knock your nose with your cup or your glass. Your upper lip will not work well for a while, FYI. This saline spray is great after the first week when you want to just squirt saline up there for some moisture without putting anything up your nose. And Tylenol is the answer for pain relief once you're done with your prescribed pain medication because NSAIDs can increase bleeding and thin your blood. Bacitracin ointment goes on your incision site six times a day after surgery. And this Aquaphor lip protection is amazing for keeping your lips from becoming a cracked, painful mess when you're doing all that mouth breathing. And speaking of dry mouth, this stuff is miraculous. Just hold a little in your mouth and swish as much as you can, and dry mouth is relieved for an amazing amount of time. It also helps keep your mouth clean since you can't properly brush your teeth for the first week. Arnica, Arnica, Arnica. Buy and take all the Arnica. I don't know what else to tell you. Bruising and pain, be gone. Arnica, Arnica. Q-tips will serve many purposes for you during this process and hydrogen peroxide is useful for getting crusty stuff off the outside of your nose. Get lots of Q-tips. You gotta get a humidifier. Better yet, get two. You can't wear glasses on your nose for a full six weeks. And those of us with sensitive skin and crappy eyes can't tape the glasses on either. What is a middle-aged diva to do? Buy this ridiculous contraption created by a plastic surgery receptionist. It looks stupid, but it is the perfect solution. And if you're self-conscious about the silly contraption, you can always do it the old-fashioned way and use some kind of magnifying glass to help you see. That's it! If this video helps even one person have a more successful recovery, then it was worth making. I'll put links in the comments to find some of these products on Amazon, and I wish you the very best. Bye!